Jimmy V here with the dummyblog.com. Dummy Blog Studios, Orlando, Florida, coming at you with another unboxing of a ventriloquist dummy. Before I get into the unboxing, I do want to give a shout out to Paul Van Tim for this t-shirt, Vent Life Talk for Two. Awesome. You can uh, get these online. Check them out uh, on Facebook. Awesome shirt. In this box, you can see I have this killer Martin Stevens, Dennis Hall, Mike Palma figure back here. Got my Alan Seamock figure back there. Just hanging out, watching this unboxing. Here we go. Let's dive in. I actually got this figure from, cool story with this figure. I got it from Dan Sackoff uh, in California. He got the figure from Alan Seamock. It's an Alan Seamock figure. He bought it two years ago at the Ventriloquist Convention. And while we were there, we, I saw, we, I, we saw the figure, and I saw him playing with it. And I went up to him, and I said, hey, are you buying that? And he says, yeah, I'm buying this. And I said, oh, man, that's a really nice Seamock figure. And he says, yeah, I really like it. And I said, hey, man, if you ever sell that figure, let me know because I want first dibs on it. And so, he recently decided to let it go and let me know that I could uh, take it if I wanted. So I grabbed it up because it's got a really great face and some of the smoothest raising eyebrows I've ever felt. So I'm really excited to touch it again and feel those mechanics and uh, see it in person. So let's dig in. Let's dig into the box. We've got the head here and as you can see this is smaller than a lot of the heads that we take out of the boxes because Seamock, Seamock makes um, his heads are typically traditionally a little smaller which I prefer uh, because the bodies are also smaller which makes them easy to carry around and perform with and here is the body wrapped up bagged up you can see he's bagged up and dressed up. Just untie the knot here. And let's get this little guy out of here. It's always exciting to unwrap a ventriloquist dummy. It's like bringing home a new, a new kid. Adopt a new kid or something. So let's pull this out. Now, the cool thing about Seamock figures is this, they all have a sculptured lower leg, or sculpted lower leg and foot. And what that does is it allows the legs to hang uh, in a natural position. It gives them a little bit of weight. Now, it's actually, it's all basswood, so it's not heavy. And um, it's, it's actually a nice little feature. You can see hands here. Classic Seamock hands. And a nice natty little outfit. All right, let's jump over here to the head. And ooh, take, find the end of this tape and take it off. And free the head. I'm excited to see this guy. Seamock figures are some of my favorite figures uh, in my collection. I have, this will be the fourth, I think, Seamock that I have in the collection. Gonna use this to cut this tape. You always be careful when you use a knife opening ventriloquist dummies. You don't want to nick the paint. And uh, all right. Look at that. So you've got side-to-side -side eyes, 
you've got mouth, and you've got raising eyebrows. Ooh, yeah, those are nice. So um, these heads are made out of uh, wood dough, and you can see it has a real, a lot of varnish in the mouth, gives it a nice little shine on the tongue, teeth, and inside of the lips. It's got a natty little wig there. Drop the head, or little brass levers there, almost head stick. Oh, Ooh. well, <clears throat> it's uh, nice to be woken up here and say hello, everyone out there in TV land. It's really internet land, huh? It's internet land nowadays. Oh, internet land. <laughs> Didn't know that. Well, hello, internet land. Oh, I'm excited to be on camera. All right, so... Ooh. Put your, keep your hands to yourself. Okay. This is the Alan Seamock figure. I don't know. He doesn't have a name. So we're going to have to name him. Okay. Give me a name. And uh, once we do, he'll be a permanent member here at the Dummy Blog Studios collection. Thanks for watching. Check us out at thedummyblog.com. I'm Jimmy V. Stay classy.